History of Seven Killings, Disc 9. Bam Bam. Don't hide in plain sight. Don't hide in plain sight, pussy hole. That shit come from movie and gunman only see what in front of them. Don't hide in a crowd either. Cause all you need for crowd to change the mob is one see him there. Know him that? And we become me and them. But he was with them. And from them. And everybody now against me. I want my daddy to come back. And my mother not to be a whore. And Josie Wales to not try to find me. Last night, man, last night. Weeper jump out first. Then Josie Wales. And me no know. Me just jump. Me no wait Pandemos. No star. But then me no get far when bullets start chase after me. Brap, brap, brap. Me running thinking police de upon me. Me turn left and bullet turn left. Me turn right and bullet turn right. Me run until me back in the garbage lands and bullets still a follow me. Me dive into a big pile of garbage that smell like shit and piss and rotten egg and it wet, wet and stink and the wet and stink dripping me hair and on me lip. Me don't move. The stink garbage shelter me. Hide when them pass. Not police. Josie Wales and Weeper both with gun cocked. You think you get him, Weeper say? How you mean if me get him? Me look like me if I miss? Weeper laugh and wait. A red car drive up and them get in. Now me can't go back home. Me stay in garbage until the wet stink dry on me. Me don't move until me know all of downtown Kingston gone to sleep. Me run out of the garbage lands and through the empty marketplace. Near here is where shot a sheriff live. Me sight a shop that either didn't close or just opened up since his curfew. All me here on the transistor radio is treated and sent home. But will he perform? And me know Josie miss. A dirty stinking pussy hole miss. Me know me should have go back and finish him myself. Me know me should have gone back and make sure. Eight rascal bullet the man fire and still miss. And now him after me? Me need coke, even half a line, even one third of a line. Last night, in the middle of the night, somebody splashed something in my face and I couldn't breathe. Not water, water run off quick. This stay on my face then run down slow, into my nose and mouth even though I blow and blow, like saliva, like God got to sleep on top of me and drool all over my face. I wake up choking and he's still on me, breathing his hot stink breath into my nose. No, a dog. A dog was licking my face. Me jump up and yell and kick the dog and watch it yelp and run away on three legs. Now me up on a park bench in National Heroes Park. They say he coming. They say it right there on the wall. That poster with the singer pointing to the sky. Smile, Jamaica. A public concert, Sunday, December 5 at 5 p.m. He beat death like Lazarus, like Jesus. People in the park talking, already people coming, walking right past me, the madman on the bench, and saying that they hope police going to deal with me so that decent people don't have to abide by no stinking madman. They come from early in the morning, people waiting for him, I blink and see them running in and out of the people and coming for me. They look like babies, but one have three eyes and one have teeth so long they hang out of its mouth. And one have two eyes but no mouth. And one have bat wings. Last night after me get away from Josie Wheels, somebody start chasing me again. They chased me all the way up Duke Street to the park. No, last night me catch a sleep on the railroad tracks. No, last night me did fall asleep in the garbage lands because Josie Wales was shooting at me and me only wake up because somebody set my heap on fire. I don't know if this is two nights since I shot him or one, but a newspaper wouldn't take two days to tell the world that the singer got shot and live. That not even gunman can silence him. Everything is one day, no two. Me know we go after him on December 3rd. 
But people coming into the park two by two and four by four, so it must be December 5th. Josie Wheels popped in my head and I remember running from him. And I remember that I was telling myself, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. You little batty man, but I cry anyway because I didn't understand. And I don't understand why he was shooting at me when he sent me out. And then for the first time, my mind run on the others. And I wonder where they be. Or if Josie Wills shoot all of them already and there's only me left. And I don't know if this makes sense to big people, but it don't make sense to me. I didn't stop running even after I couldn't hear Josie Wills no more. I take foot from the garbage lands and run and run and run all the way downtown. On Tower Street going east to west, past Haberdashery and Syrian shop and Lebanese supermarket. All closed until the general election pass. Tower Street cut cross Princess Street and them beggar man. Orange Street and them higgler woman. King Street and them tradesman. And Duke Street and them lawyer lawyer. I turn up Duke Street and run into darkness. And I realize it's not Josie Wheels coming after me. Or Papa Lowe. Or shot a sheriff. It's him. He beat death. And he coming after me. He not even coming. But sitting back maybe on some hill somewhere. And setting a trap. Knowing that people like me born fool. And going fly straight into it. National Heroes Park. Is him park today. And he own every single man who will set foot in it. All of Kingston. All of Jamaica. Thick juice like saliva on my face, in my eye and in my nose. Me wake up choking on the bench in the park with bird shit on my shoulder. Me don't know if me drop asleep again and wake up, or if the last time me wake up was a dream. People are already in the park to wait and see. I see and wait. For them, for the police, for GLP gunman, for PNP gunman, for you. By four o'clock there must be thousand more. All of them waiting but something different. These people are not GLP or PMP or any other P. They're just man and woman and brother and sister and cousin and mother and brethren and sistren and sufferer. And I don't know these people. I get up and walk and move past them, in between them, around them like a duppy. Nobody touch me. They don't step out of my way. They just don't see me at all. I don't know people who don't pick side. I don't know what they look like. What went in their head before they say something? People who never wear Jamaican Labour Party green. Or People's National Party orange. And these people getting bigger and bigger. And the crowd bigger. And the belt around the park about to burst and spill. But they're waiting on him. And they sing him songs until you come. The crowd is one. Them go no me no one of them. Sooner, later, sooner. Sooner or later one of them lands going to say, See him there? See the wolf? Me no know how them going no, but them going no. But them don't care about me. Me's a bug, a fly, a flea. Less than that. Third world band playing. Surrounded by every policeman in Jamaica and the prettiest woman on the stage talk like she is John the Baptist and the singer is Jesus. And she make the crowd ooh and ah and yay and her dress red and orange and flow down to the ground like she is Moses burning bush. But she not talking to them. She talking to me. Saying, hey, little idiot, who are you to think you can take down the tough gang? The crowd rush forward and roll back. East swing to west and west swing back. And I try not to look. And I try not to make anybody look at me. And two boys pass by. One of them looking at me too long. But the other drop a newspaper. It's dark but the street light hit the people. And sometimes hit the ground. Jamaica Daily News. The singer shot. Gunmen's night raid leaves Whaler's manager Don Taylor. I th Somebody step on it. Then another. Then another. The crowd suck it up and the paper is gone. I look up and he. Not he, you. 
You look right at me. You're on stage, 50, 100 yards away. Not even feet, but yards, and you look at me. You see me long before I see you, but you're not looking at me. The only light now is on the stage, and I lost in the darkness. You wrap tight in a black shirt like you're coming out of hell, and I can't see your pants. I don't know if it's jeans or the leather one that make the woman who I live with breathe heavy. You spin and the light flash through you, whipping up your locks. Blue jeans. So many people on the stage that you can't even dance like you used to. The pretty woman, your John the Baptist, have her arms folded but she feeling the music. Then on the left me see a duppy and try to run. We run into her chest. I say sorry, but the man don't even feel me. He only feel the positive vibration. Me look back and the duppy not a duppy, but you're a woman dressed in white. The horn blow and you stand still. I'm not hearing you. I'm hearing the people and they hearing you. And I can see you, but you lock me out like I must be deaf. And I wonder how this night would play for deaf people. And if you really start in a revolution, if they can't join. You, you said that you always knew, always knew that you were confident in the ultimate victory of good over evil. You're not talking about me. Me know you not drop prophecy about me. You are idiot. You forget that you is the lion and me be the hunter. You flash your dread again. And I forget that though you be the lion and me is the hunter, me and I feel your jungle, concrete jungle. Return for vanish, but there, nobody move, nobody get hurt. The crowd stand still, then push forward. Then they start to jump, and I stop. One foot crush me toe, and another, and another, and if I don't start jumping, they all gone stomp till one by one they trample me down. You doing it. You telling them to close in and stomp down Babylon. Now me jumping to you, singing to them about me. You is the lion, and now you is the cowboy, going to chase those crazy ball heads out of town. I look at the ground, but the bass about to push me down so that the people can trample me. And the guitar coming through the crowd like a spear straight from my heart. Me did think it was one day since we shoot you, but when me take a stop, it's two. And me don't know if me did sleep in the garbage lands or Duke Street or the park. And when evening turned to morning and then evening again for two days. And where me did gone for a whole day that me can't remember. But me can't think nothing right now because you just attack me. And everywhere me look to run, the people just a block me. And maybe they should block me because Josie Wheels must be here too. And Papa Lo and me see that this is what you plan all along. I look up and people still in the tree. And one of them must have a gun aiming at my head. Now you got what you want. Do you want more? You say. And it's me you say it to. And me you chat about. And only me know what you really mean. You think you're bad pussy hole? You think you can come take this bumba clot? You think you can kill off the tough gong? You think you can just snuff out his imperial majesty either? Ja live pussy hole and Jack coming to cut out your bumba clot heart. Ja going to point him finger like lightning to strike and burn you down to a pile of ash good for nothing. But for a mangy dog to lift him left leg and piss upon you so you wash with down drain. Now you get what you want. Do you want more? No. Me no want no more because me see them. The baby with bat wings. And the baby with two eyes but no mouth and more burning blue flame and taking their time walking through the crowd and I want to shout people you know see them you know see the demon them but the people looking at you only at you something slid over my foot and rub scales against my ankle and then do it again and I scream but the guitar scream the same time and suck mine out Maybe if me no run but try to walk, me can leave. So me take foot, cut through, but everybody jumping and waving and grinding and singing, and to the left is uptown, 
to the left me sight Wilma's boy school and nobody would see me. So I head left, but people keep singing and moving and singing and jumping so much me can't see. But me walking and walking and every time I think something, that I finally reach the end of the park, another voice say, You're not going nowhere, pussy hole. And then you sing, Soja say, and make it official. I'm going to make it to the east. No, Soja say. The bumba clot duppy gonna catch me. Yes, them gonna catch you. Soja say. Josie Wheels gonna find me and then he gonna kill me. But he gonna kill me quick because me know. Or maybe Papa Lo gonna find me. And he gonna kill me slow so that all bad man would know. Yes, Soja say. Nobody can kill the tough gang. Soja say. Me take foot. Me walking. Me foot moving faster, but you getting louder. Louder, louder. And me take a stop and look. And you nearer than before. Loosen the line to trick the fish. And then you look at me. And me can't move. And the babies with bat wings and blue flame coming closer. Me can't see them, but me feel them. And me can't run from them because you looking at me. And you better stop, you hear me? You better stop. Was not my scheme to kill you. I don't even care if you live or die. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Fucking head lice infested, nutty head rasta. You looking at me. I know. So just say. So many people in the stage that you can't even move. Police chief in khaki. White man with camera. The prime minister standing on top of a Volkswagen. Black people so plenty and so black they look like shadow wearing clothes and dancing and skanking in the dark. And you singing and your ghost wife singing and everybody singing and the crowd singing and your real voice slip under all that. I look at you and see your mouth moving, singing one thing but talking something else. Look up here, Babylon boy. Think you can come against the levication of his imperial majesty, King Eile Selassie? His foundation is in the holy mountains. Ja loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things have been spoken of thee, O city of God. I'll make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know I. Behold, Philistia and Tyre, and with Ethiopia it shall be said that this man was born there, and the highest himself shall establish the earth. Ja Rastafari. Look up here, sir boy. I look, but you not looking at me. You don't need to look at me for the same reason God don't look at man. For one look and man I would burn out of him skull, burn to nothing, not even a speck, not a dot, less than that. That is not me talking, but you. Me not me no more. Me don't sound like me. Only you and the people devout. Only shadow and no sound dropping through the speaker, only the deep end of the rhythm, and you hold the mic up in the air like a torch and cover your eyes again, but you seeing all, they think you're dancing, but you signifying, your word, not mine, my sweat run cold and it won't stop, it run down my back like a cold finger, right down the split between my bottom, then you move your hand and you flash your dread, and lock your stare on me, through me, inside me, behind me, you reach straight into my heart and grab it. You say, watch the work of Rastafari. Watch him turn lion into hunter and hunter into hunted. You know I lost my gun, the gun that nearly took you. You know that even if I did have the gun, I couldn't shoot. You know that me is nothing. Me is a dead man. You know my heart beat the snake around my feet. You know you can will the crowd to push me down and swallow me up. You're in the jungle, the bush, and you step out in the clearing for audience with his imperial majesty. You step forward and roll up your sleeve. Babylon tried to smite you through the hand but fail. You pull the first button on your shirt, then the second, then the third, then puff out your chest like Superman. 
You point to the wound on your arm and the wound in your chest. You did the war dance of victory and you relived the hunt and everybody see. But only I know. My sweat cool. You point to your wound like Jesus pointing to his side to show the work of the spear. More people on the stage now and the pretty woman take back the mic. But not before the wind blow and the cock crow. And you pull two pistols fast from your holster like the Cisco kid. Like Marty Robbins. Like, like, like the man with no name. You throw back your head and laugh so long that the laugh don't even need a mic. You laugh at me, then stop quick and fierce and look straight at me. Your eye too fire. I shut my eye tight until I feel you're not looking. And when I open them, you're gone. I may know me dead. I can only run when I see that you leave. With the baby with bat wings flying after me. People shoving, people pushing. And something or somebody hit me straight in the face. Then another hit, straight in the belly. And I think I'm going to vomit, but I piss myself. Me not crying. Me not going to cry. I can't stop anything that going to happen to me right now. Not even my own piss. I run down my foot and people hitting and slapping and punching and passing and running and running and passing. I make out of the park before people realize that you're gone and not coming back. So the street dark and empty and I don't know any of the building across the street. I don't even notice Josie Wheel's man Tony Pavarotti until he's right in front of me and turn him knuckle charge straight for my face. Demos. Me run all day into the night. Two nights ago I was running down a dream. A gully so stink with garbage that even the rat them don't come round too much. I run from Duke Street up to South Parade and jump on the first bus leaving. Me can't remember if me paid the conductor the five cents. Only four people did was on the bus and only one behind me. My head start to hurt me. Not a big hurt, but that nagging one. Like a buzzing mosquito fly through your ear hole and now he moving up to the top of your head. The buzz that make you feel somebody eyes on your back. I turn around and it's a schoolboy. Take off the uniform and not older than me, I think. But he not looking at me. Or he only looking at me when I turn my back. I turn around again. I want to walk up to him and cut a telephone mark on him right cheek with my switchblade. I want to smash him head for going to school because me didn't have no choice to go to no pretty school in any pretty khaki uniform. But he is just one boy. I turn my back again and I hear horsefoot. I hear horsefoot getting louder and louder and I know it's the rat-a-tat-tat of this old bus, old engine but I hear horses coming. That's when I jump off the bus in Barbican and climb down from a little bridge down to a gully underneath and stay there. When me wake up, a hand upon my balls, a hand grabbing my pants hard, making me jump. All I can see is the hand stretch out from a pile of garbage. A garbage monster made out of newspaper and cloth and plastic bag and spoiled food and shit. I yell and kick the monster straight with my foot and it fall back and scream. Some of the newspaper fall away and a woman head pop out. She black like tar with her hair cross up with dirt and paper and two pink hair clip. And when she scream again, I see only three teeth. One so long and yellow that she must be vampire covering up herself with newspaper. She still screaming when I look around and find a rock stone and threaten to fling. She jump up quick. I forget how mad people can be fit and bouncy and ready to run. Which she do. Down the gully screaming until she gets so far that she just a blip. A dot. Nothing. I can't tell the last time me eat food. The last time me beard. And I was hoping that if me didn't think about a line, me wouldn't want a line. But now me think about it. And it's all me can do to stop it. But then me hear horse hoof again. My heart start beat fast, boom, 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 with a horse foot, clap, 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 
and my hand and my foot feel cold and getting colder. My head saying, run, fool, run, and the gully shake. But there's a truck passing over the bridge. I have to stay hungry. If I stay hungry, I think about food. If I stay hungry for a line, I think about a line. Because if I think about how hungry me be, then I never have to think about Josie Wales. Fucking fool, it was almost you. It was you until you sniff weep a shit. I don't have to think about this bridge and how me only did want to show the brethren not the singer to never fuck with Demos. How me sick and fucking tired of man using me. First the brethren, then Josie Wales. Fucking fool, it was almost you. It was you until you sniff weep a shit. And before that, every man in the fucking ghetto who only think about what they want and how to use me to get it. Something must be on my head that say, use him, for I'm fool enough. And it must be true. Under the gully, you just never know how the stink can drive a man mad. How he can think crazy shit and wicked shit and nasty shit. Kill a baby shit or fuck a little girl shit. Or shit in church shit. Because the stinks a stink. All you can think is that the stink must be easing into you like water through a strainer. And now you must be stink too. And I just want to wash it off. I just want to wash the whole thing off. But the water running through the gully stink too. No. Now I have to think straight. I have to think like a thinking man. I have to get out of Kingston. I have to go. I have to go somewhere. Somewhere people never talk about. Somewhere like Hanover. Who the rascal know what's going on in Hanover? Hanover so far from the rest of Jamaica that I can bet they don't even vote in no election. Go to Hanover and take a name like Everton or Courtney or Fitzharold. A name that sound like both mother and father raised me. I hear the horse hoofs again and get up and run. I run in the same direction that the mad woman run. Me must be mad too. Hearing horse hoof like me some naked runaway slave. With the mass hot on me trail while me got to the land of maroons. That must be it. Maybe I should run to the maroons. Who run to the maroons in 1976? But who gonna look for me there? This sound like reasoning. It sound like solid reasoning. Like me still have sense. At least me still have sense. It almost make me laugh. Me running through the gully. Watching it go dark every time me run under a bridge. Then back into the light when me run out from under it. I run and run and run. Until the air start to taste salty. And me know me soon near the sea. I run and run until the sun reach the top and bake me back. Then slide down and down and down until it shock the sky one last time with orange. Then sink. And I don't stop. Not even when me see that me don't have on no shoes. And the water me splashing in start to get cleaner. I run to a burnout car and almost stop and go in. And hide until me turn into bones. But me keep running. Nothing hurt me unless me think about it. So when me think about food. Hunger stagger me so bad that me fall down and roll. So me stop thinking about food. Running make me think that surely it soon be curfew so me can climb out of the gully and go somewhere where there be food to teeth or water to drink. But me cuss, cause there me was thinking about food again and my belly groan and cut me up with pain. It's true, you do feel better about things the further you run from it. I pass the skeleton of a truck next and it's not till me pass the skeleton of a boat that me see that me not in the gully no more. But me not in the sea either. Even though me tasting the salt and smelling the waves. Me toes digging in the sand and mud. And all round thick with tree. Yellow tree that look like plastic. With branch that bend smooth and vines hanging down. And curling on the ground like snake. The sand cold and wet in one patch. Then dry and hot in the other. I walk past a wet patch. And a little hole open up. And all sort of crab rush out. I stoop down and watch them. The light going out and sea getting louder. I look up and right there in front of me is a plane. 
It looked like it'd fall and try to fly again, but get trapped in a spider web. The plane still struggling, but the bush web winning. It upright like a cross, but the belly still silver and shiny. Half of the left wing gone, and the tail sinking to the sun. Sea bush and sea flower pushing through the cockpit and out through the windows as if bush was the real passenger. Crab running all around it. Part of me want to fly open the door and look if a real skeleton inside. And part of me want to sit in the seat and wait for the plane to pull itself free and fly away. The bush rustle and branches crack like wild pig tromping through the bush. I turn around and five, six, seven, eight raster mounts around me. All of them in white. What the blood... Bam, bam. May I scream out, Lord, why? No, 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 no. Screaming, but me can't scream because the gag blocked me mouth. And my tongue can't push it out. And my vomit come up. And me can't swallow it back down. And me coughing and choking. Josie wheels pull off my own gansy them was using to blindfold me. And all me can see is torch. And shadow of man and shadow on tree that look like big giant hands stretching out from the ground, but everything blurry. It dark, and me try to run, but me foot tied together and my hands too. Me can't do nothing but hop, so me hop, and Josie wheels laugh. I can't see him, me just hear the laugh. But then he nod and come out from behind the tree, and I see that he's a man and not a shadow. And a weep on Tony Pavrot, it grab me and lift me up. And me can't do nothing. Me can't punch them or thump them or stab them or kick them. Me can only look at them real fierce. Look at them like just once. Just once pussy hole. Jesus Christ give me the superpower me begging for since me was 12. Make me steer them with the heat energy power that slice them in two. Jesus, Jesus. Them grab me and lift me and swing me with a one, with a two, with a three and let me go. And me fall right down in the grave, landing upon my stomach, with my face right in the mud. Mud caking in me right eye, and it burn and it hurt, and me can't blink all the dirt out. Me roll over, and they're just watching me from up top, and Josie Wales looking down, grinning, and my mouth tastes like vomit and stone, and no, no, no. Me hand a burn, and skin won't come off. The skin won't come off. The skin won't come off so that the blood will loosen the rope and free my hand. Weeper, just shoot me. Just shoot me, please, just shoot me. Shoot me a blood clot, wicked pussy hole. Shoot me. Shoot me. Josie come up to edge and piss down on me. My hand behind the back, I hear an earthworms and ants. I hear an ants. They gonna bite. And Pavrati start filling up the grave. No, 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 mud raining, dirt raining, kicking and kicking and kicking, five feet, no, six feet under, can't get up, can't get up, mud and dirt and dust to dust and rocks and one rock break my nose and rock bullet me eye and no more too and no, sweep with your head, sweep it off, sweep off the dirt, blow hard, blow hard, blow hard, no, 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 blow hard, can't blow, gag, Jesus, Superman, Spider-Man, Captain America, steer hard, and the superpower going come, superpower, and me don't have a little finger, and me pull, and pull, and pull the rope over the stump of the little finger, and free, free, but the dirt raining and rising, and me can't look up, but me hear them digging and throwing and dirt and dirt and stone clap forehead. Can't think. Super steer. Pow. Zap. Zip. Zoom. 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 Pow. Them take this make joke. See? I can kick with the dirt with two foot at the same time. Kick with the dirt like football. Like you know like football kick way. See it there? Me bad, me bad, me tired, me tired. The dirt keep landing, wet and heavy like God pushing me down. No, 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 no. Dirt in me left eye. Can't shut it, can't blink, can't blink. Weep a laugh. More dirt, more people, more, more, more. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle foot, foot, stuck, then rock. 
Rock, rock, side to side, no side, only dirt. Turn over, turn over, bout turn over, and crouch like baby, crouch. And so you have here, I should have fucked the woman I live with. No, not her, some other girl. The girl two door down, some other girl. White girl, Charlie's angel. Pussy pink, pussy is pink. Me seeing daddy's secret book under the bed, which he take out when he think me sleep, and go off by himself and make man sound. Jesus, me hard. Could fuck the ground. Must fuck the ground. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Want pussy? No, don't want pussy. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Bend her over and rub the cunt, and heist up the body wall, and sink down the cock, and it tight. Feel like piece of liver wrap round your cocky. Big, big like daddy cocky, big when he fuck me who her mother. Her back to him. She didn't care who sleep and who wake. And when she rise up herself, daddy cocky like flagpole. She raise and raise and couldn't come off. But she don't want to come off. She slide back down and yelp like puppy pussy cocky balls, balls. And me never see my father naked. I may never see him fuck my mother. Maybe some other man. Maybe funny boy. No, he's a batty man who make man suck him cocky then shoot them. And shoot them dead. And me never reach Cuba. And me never go to Barbados. And never take the S off Superman chest. And can't cry through the left eye. It full with dirt. So breathe in short, not deep. Ear scarce, ear scarce. Can't feel. New dirt dump on me, only hear it, so dark and wet and heavy, the dirt heavy, and can't more, no, 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 stop, stop, breathe, breathe, shot, see her, see her, what, dig, 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 chuck, 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 dead, you're gone dead, you're going dead, make me dead quick, no, live, no, dead, you're going dead, Take another breath. Don't use up the ear. The ear feel wet and hard and tight. Somebody hand over me, me nose. It feel like somebody hand over me nose. Ah, 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 ah. Jesus, Jesus, jeez. One breath, breath, breath. One breath, two breath, three breathe, four breathe, breath, breathe, five breath, six Breath, seven, eight, nine, nine, no, 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 no. Daddy, no, not the yellow fire engine, the red one. The yellow one can't be real, Daddy. No, daddy, I want a kiss cup up and, and lollipop and a tootsie pop and all kind of pop and a purple crayon and red too, pink. No, pink is for girls. Pink is for girls. Hubba bubba chewing gum. Don't stick even when you blow a big, big bubble. Biggest and bubblest. Ring around the rosy pocket full of posy. Ah, shucks. Ah, shucks. We... Sir Arthur George Jennings God puts earth far away from heaven because even he can't stand the smell of dead flesh. Death is not a soul catcher or a spirit. It's a wind with no warmth, a crawling sickness. I will be there when they kill Tony McPherson. I will be there when the eventide old folks' home goes up in fire and smoke. Nobody tries to save himself. I will be there when the boy buried alive crosses over but still thinks he's not dead, and I'll follow him when he walks to the house of the reggae singer. I will be there when they come for the last one in the old city. When three run into rough justice. When the singer, dancing with his undead toe, falls in Pennsylvania and his locks drop and scatter. Those who are about to die can see the dead. That is what I'm telling you now. 
but you can't hear me. You can see me following you. You wonder, if I'm walking, then why does it look like I'm not touching the ground, even though I'm walking behind you, behind them? They followed you all the way down to where the swamp meets the sea. You didn't even notice until they were all around you. Right by the still shiny plain, with the dead man in it, surrounded by sacks of white powder. They were seven, and you thought they were horsemen from Revelations, but they were just men with cutlasses who could smell you out by your fear. Men who didn't pursue you at all, but waited until you fell right into place. I can see that you see me. This is not good for you. You woke up with it on you. Demon spit clumped around your face, like someone held you by the feet and dipped your head in gelatin. You scooped some off and thought it was a dream, but it was already in you. You breathed it in like a fish. You and the boy buried alive and the rest of them that will never notice that they now sleep on their backs. Is the white man that don't make no sense, no sense at all, you're thinking. I'm following you like the widow in a funeral procession. Your pants snag on a half-buried rock and rip your left pocket. These men pull you like a fish, and with each pull the noose around your wrists gets tighter. They've been pulling you for miles, and you twist and turn. But the last time you twisted you rolled onto your belly, and the rocks felt worse, slicing lines down your belly, a jagged red one cracking your right kneecap. They've been dragging you over secret roads, forgotten lanes, weed-ambushed paths and hidden rivers, through the cave that leads deep into the Kingston that only dead slaves know. Only one of them is dragging you, and not making much effort to do so. He never yanks. He tugs you like you're a pillow full of nothing but feather, sponge, and air. You're not heavy at all. Nobody under twenty is heavy. I try to bow my head in reverence as we march, but my head falls whenever I nod and my neck snaps. You roll again, and wet grass cuts your face. You've been screaming for miles, but the scream dies in a gag. But I will be there to listen. Rasta Avengers, all in white, smell of ganja smoke and iron in the blood. Seven men with nothing to say. Seven men one pulling you by rope through the bush, up this hill, down this valley, then up another hill, or the bloody moon pays no attention. I wonder how their pants stay so white in the bush. Three of the seven have wrapped their heads in white, like African tribal women. You can see me. You're hoping that I read eyes. I can, and they don't care when me roll and me face and nose and mouth full with dirt and grass. It bitter, it bitter, it bitter. Now fuck, where are we going? Where are them going? Me face going scrape right off, and me head going look like the bloody moon, and the moon be bleeding, and the grass slice through me skin with every step, and they all moving through the bush like they not walking, nobody walking, everybody walking on this air gliding through bush, the bush blade cut out. But you're not the man I'm waiting for. I thought so, because I smelled his scent on you, faint but there, and I almost thought it was him, until I saw that it was you. Many more will have to suffer. Many more will have to die. These men sing no songs as they drag you through the bush. My skin is as white as their clothes, but I have no clothes on. You can't stop yourself from trying to scream. You're wondering if I am with them or not, if they can see me or not. And if I am not real, then this is not real. And even a procession towards death is just a metaphor for something else. You have never heard the word metaphor. But you have it in you, something I did not have, an understanding of the men taking you up. 
Maybe after so many miles of being dragged, you've separated them, id and superego. Your mind that knew you had it coming, and your heart that could never accept it. It's the irrational side of man that clutched the straw, that tried everything to stay alive, that grabbed clumps of air in the midst of a fall over a balcony, screaming to God for a grip. I have no understanding of the man who killed me. You look at me, and even in the dark, I can see your red eyes blink fierce. He right there. He looking at me and at them. He marching at the back. Left, right, left, right. Plenty step behind them. And he looking at them and at me and at the sky like he crying. And he don't talk to them. Help me. Help me. Police. Murder. Stop. Don't walk like you don't see blood. And you not no witness. I don't know if that make more sense than that he be a white man. So white man say something, no? Scream, run, come back with gun. Scream, run, don't just walk and know me now, look upon you. When them pulling me through the bush, me pull back, no twist, spin round upon me back, the bush underneath me, rope around me, hand burning all over back on stomach, no back, no side, no stomach, and see them two, no three, no four. We on a hill. Must be, cause the rope pulling me harder, and it hurt, and the white man looking. But then he had gone, and me can't see, cause his deep bush and the bush thorn cut bumble cloth. Jesus, the white man gone. But then he back. See him there still, behind. But him head gone. No, it swing like he no have no neck. Then he use him hand. What him doing? He putting him head back on, be screwing it tight. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Bumble cloth is not man, is rolling calf. But he look like a man. But him eye not on fire. And me go through a bush. And stuck, stop pulling, stop pulling me. Scream into the gag, stop pulling. And he stopped pulling. And two come round me. No, don't kick me. And the other one set him foot on me side. No, don't kick me. And push to roll me over. And the two of them is Rasta, they dreadlocks alive like his snake. No smoke, no snake. And lay in white, and both have machete in left hand. No right hand, forehead booming. Don't chop me. Do please don't chop me. And it cold where me little toe supposed to be the left one. No, the right. Me woman crying. She crying right now. She find other man to mind her, the pussy cloth whoring bitch. No, she crying. She gone to Josie Wales and ask, where me man, the What you do with him? Josie Wales, get her to, he fuck her, he fuck her and turn her into fool, or him give her money, you hear that? Me have Judas woman too, white man, me too, and the Rasta in white kick me and roll me out of the bush, the moon white, it not bleeding no more, and Ras cloth me wrist burning, they pulling me over a rock in the middle of me back, cutting, scraping down, it hook me pants, they pulling and pulling, stop, 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 they pull, rip, tear, they pulling me up the hill and bye bye pants, behind wet grass, cutting through the white man, gone, they pull me, bump me head, bump asphalt road, they drag me across a road, scraping, stop, 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 Gravel dig into me bottom, gravel stuck in me back, digging, digging my bottom wet, wet bottom blood, no is blood, sticky iron smell blood, white man is blood for true answer me pussy hole, where you de? Then pull me cross the road into bush still up the hill, Josie Wales, me going kill Josie Wales, me oh. God, Jesus Christ, 
Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, me no want to dead, Lord Papa Jesus. Why, Jesus, do me no want to dead? The white man come back. The white man is Jesus. No, why you don't say nothing? Look, blood running down in face. I say too much. I'm the man nobody listens to. And soon you will be too. They pull you up the steepest the hill has been, your body snapping twigs and crushing leaves, and even I am wondering why the moon won't pick a side. They pull you onto a trail that runs along a dark river rustling. I have some memory of this place, but I don't know if it's my own. They drag you along the path for minutes and then stop. I look ahead while you try to swing around and do the same. When you see what I see, your mouth will exclaim so wide that the gag nearly falls out. A line, a gate, a fortress wall of Rasta men, most in white but some in colors hidden by moonlight, all in a line, side by side, with cutlasses and knives in hand, machine guns strapped across backs as far as anyone can see. Man beside man, and beside him, men all the way across right, all the way across left, stretching so far that the lines disappear around the bends of the hill and continues. A band of men in a circle around a mountain that I know of but cannot remember. I cannot stop looking at them. I forget about you. I want to run around the hill and see if the line ever breaks, but I know it does not. They have sealed the top of the mountain from the country. But they let through the seven rasters pulling you. Not a single man speaks, except for your screaming mumble. They pull you along the path fifty feet, then veer off, all of them, like the sudden turn of birds. The bush reaches waist high. There is no path, but they seem to know where to go. I see the tree before you do. They stop. The man pulling you lets the rope loose, while two help you up by the arms. They position you to stand, but you see the tree spread out above you and collapse. They grab you before you fall. You wait for them to let you go and try to hop away. They do not follow or even raise alarm. Just wait for you to fall. The large one who pulled you all this way grabs you by the belt and you're in the air. He carries you like a doll. Only one man on this hill has run out of time. He holds you in place. The noose was already there, already waiting. He tries to put it around your neck, but you jerk left to right, north to south, screaming into the gag. You wiggle, you shake. You turn and look at me. Even in the dark, I can see you blinking. You've been screaming for minutes, but I'm the only one who knows that you have been screaming at me. With one hand, the big Rasta man holds your neck in place and slips over the noose. Tightens. I thought they would have put you on a drum and kicked your life away. But your neck is in a noose at the end of a rope that shoots up and over a strong branch, then down the tree into the grip of two Rastas who wrap it in their hands and tug. I wonder if you find this as obscene as I do, that they are so quiet, as if this is work. There will be no last words. I wonder if you are crying now. I wonder if you hope somehow the singer will hear you begging for mercy. But you should know this. The living, they never listen. Shadow Dancing, February 15th, 1979. Kim Clark. Every time I get on the bus, there's this point where I know it's going to blow up. The thing is, I always think it will explode from the rear, and because of that, I sit up front. As if sitting up front is going to make any difference. 
Maybe it's because of the bombing of that restaurant in London in February. I stopped watching the news for months, then turned on the TV only to see that shit. Chuck says, You worry too much, babykins. Just don't take the bus. Jesus Christ, I hate babykins. Hate it. Can't stand it. Pull out a gun and shoot it. Which makes him like calling me that all the more. He says it's because he can see my eyebrow arch before I feel myself arching it. Chuck says then, Babykins, just don't take the bus if you hate being packed like a sardine. I don't tell him that is not what I hate. You know, I can feel it. My back getting straighter and straighter as I walk home. Something about it, walking home. I like people seeing me walking to that home, but I don't like them watching me. They don't see me as me, but me as a woman walking to that house near the beach that looks like somebody up and plucked it out of Hawaii Five O, A house that looks like it have no business there, and people wonder why this black woman thinks she have reason to go there with her head held high like she own it. First, they will see me as a woman who go there once and have to leave in the morning with whatever was my rate. Then they'll see me as that woman who go there plenty and must be sweeting that white boy good, or at least being discreet about it. Then they'll see me as maybe him woman, who will leave at any hour. Then they will see me leaving and coming and carrying my paper shopping bag and think, maybe she have something to do with the house, like the maid. Then they will see that I leave in not good clothes and return, or go on a jog, which is the new white people thing in America. And only then start to think, maybe she lived there for true. She and the white man. No, the white man and she. Afternoon to you too, sir. Mister, let me push my handcart slow so that me can spy into people private business. Move on, master. Broke my good heel on this road last week. Rode my ass. This is a trail. Up the hill, then down again. To the little cliff near the beach where only people like Chuck would think to live. Or Errol Flynn. Chuck, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck? I said when he came up to me at Montana's bar, where all the expatriates and people who work for all court bauxite go. Because it's the only place where the hamburgers don't taste like the Jamaicans really believe they are made out of ham. And he took his hat off too, like he was some cowboy, and said, Howdy, I'm Chuck. You sure you're not Bill from sales who howdied me only three nights ago? I thought, but didn't say. Chuck, it's like Chip, Pat, Buck, or Jack. I just love these one-punch American names. They sound like apple pie and easy money, and you utter them once with so little effort and you're done. You get a yup, a howdy, a what's shaking little lady, and suddenly you feel the need to tell them that, no, this is not one of those local ladies who is not wearing a panty underneath her dress for your convenience. But thanks for the scotch, which I'm not going to drink. Don't know which I relive more. Counting down hours and reducing them to minutes in Montana's, waiting for him. Or when Chuck said howdy, and I thought, well, you'll do. Home. Watch it, Miss Kim. You're calling the place something not even Chuck calls it. I'm going to walk into the living room right now thinking about exploding buses and say, Chuck. And he's going to say, Yup, what's shaking, honey bun? And I'll feel like a rabbit safe in a hole. No, I'm not. That's some stupid shit from a stupid book, for God's sake. Stop thinking, Kim Clark. Late day at work. Usually he's home by now. Usually I would have cooked dinner by now. The shit you can get away with when you're making it up as you go along. Damn, babykins. I didn't know Jamaican rice had pepper in it. He said last night. Look where that thinking shit has gotten you now. Girls are out the window. Now I'm the woman who lives close to seagulls. I hate gulls. Little bitches plopping down their little shitty bodies like unwanted guests every afternoon and taking over my own damn terrace saying move bitch 
It's the wee terrace now. I don't know why they keep coming. There's no food outside, and I sure as shit am never going to feed them. And they're so damn loud and nasty, and only fly away when they see Chuck. They couldn't care a ras clot about me. I know what they're thinking. They're thinking we was here first, long before you start shack up with man, and we was here before him too. Screaming like they know stuff about me. Get away from my window, or my American Chuck will pull out his American gun and bang, bang, quick, draw McGraw, and put a lead one through your head, see? Jesus Christ, when did I start watching cartoons? Today, I will love his hair. I will think about his hair and how it's brown, but never one color brown, and red when it gets near his cheek, and how he likes it short like a soldier. But now he's growing it long because I said, Honey, you'd make a nice pirate, thinking the sentence would vanish to the same idle place it came from. But he loved it, so now he's my sexy pirate. I never called him sexy. Must be because I said honey. Sexy. Sexy is John... What's his name? What is his name? Dukes of Hazard, General Lee. Not the brown hair one. He's too husband looking. The John one. Damn it, shit. His name is John. Sexy. Luke Duke sliding off the car trunk, lifting one leg into car and squeezing his snake down the other leg. Do other women see this or only me? Kim Clark, you pervert, you nasty girl. He never wears a brief, that John. Schneider, Dukes of Hazards showing this week on the satellite dish. The only satellite dish I know is the big one outside the JBC TV station back in Kingston. But Chuck put one up on his roof. Yes, today I will think of how I love what he is about to do with his hair. Yesterday, I loved how he always took his cap off when he came through the door. Yes, ma'am, any door. The day before... I loved how he calls me Miss Kim any time I go on top when we fuck. No, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. The Miss Kim, not the fucking. But I like that he likes it so much. Of course he likes it. The black bitch that finally makes him go wild. He must have heard the story about Jamaican girls two years before he even landed with a technical drawing kit and a cock stand. Americans call cockstands hard-ons, which makes no sense. No, he's sweet. The man's sweet and nice subtle. And he lifts me up with his two hands like me make out of paper. But hands so soft, so sweet. And he lifts me up and puts me on the kitchen counter and smiles and says, Hey, babykins, miss me? And I think about it more than once. That yes, I did miss you. I did miss you because when you're not here, it's just me and thoughts. And I hate thinking. I fucking hate it gone to hell. Leave the thinking to Chuck. Leave the moving to Chuck. Leave the deciding what to take with and what to leave behind to Chuck. I like the second half of that thought much more than the first and... Oh shit, Jesus Christ! Oh... Wait, it's a muffler. It's a blast from a muffler. Jesus Christ, breathe, Kim Clark. Breathe in, out, in, out, in, out. That's the third time I called myself Kim Clark without thinking right before that I need to call myself Kim Clark. Or after saying, look at that, I called myself Kim Clark. Even this thinking about Kim Clark is about me reaching the point where I don't even have to think about it anymore. Or that other name. Fuck that person. See? I say fuck like an American. Like Chuck, who still says darn it. Cute. Chuck and his motherfucker. Every time he watched Monday Night Football, it was about motherfucker this, or motherfucker that, or... It's called a spread offense, motherfucker. Nobody in the game uses their feet, but it's football. 
I love how Americans can just claim something to be whatever they feel it is. Despite clear evidence, it's not. Like a football game with nobody using any feet that takes forever. Last time he had me sit through that shit, I said, baby, only sex should last this long. And he called me his sexy little slut. I didn't like that either. It was one of the 200 mistakes men make every day with women they live with. And it made me wonder, just how many women has he actually had sex with? I mean, he's not bad looking. No, he's cute. No, he's handsome. Look, right now, 3,000 Jamaican women probably hate me because I'm with him. I have what you want, you pussy holes. Me, Kim Clark. Come and get it if you're bad. A lie that? I know for a fact that Jamaican women are not out there looking for a white man from foreign. Most of them can't figure out what they would look like naked. They think white men are all balls, no cocky, which only prove that they've never seen a blue movie. Coming home in the sun, 3 p.m., Montego Bay feels like Miami. You never been to Miami, Kim Clark. But still, coming home, going home, I hope Chuck isn't there. That was harsh. Uncalled for, he would say, which he's been saying a lot these days, making me think that everything that come out of my mouth tainted with something. That is not what I want to think. I just want some me time. There I go again, talking like a hurry come up American for so long that now I can't drop the Yankee talk even in my own head. Straight thinking, please. I just hope he's not there because I just want to sit in the settee and hear my own breathing and watch Walk with Yang on TV and just put the brain on rest because all of this, this living, this walking, this talking, this sitting in space that is still not my space is fucking hard work. Existing is hard work. No, it's not. It's the living that's bumbleclot hard. I swear sometimes. Are these girls hearing what I think? Is that what they are doing outside? Listening to my thoughts and laughing? Does fly and roach spray work on birds? Maybe they would rip my skin apart and eat it. Fucking hate the damn birds. Fucking don't know what to do with all these chuckisms I speak in lately. It just happens, doesn't it? Some point where a man just start living all over you. Chuck isn't home. This couch feels nice. I fall asleep in the couch all the time, but never fall asleep in the bed. Most nights I just lie on Chuck's bushy chest to listen if his heart ever skips. I really need to clean this house, even if we're leaving. Even if we're leaving at the end of next month. Would have given anything to have cut this place loose in December. I want a white Christmas. I've been dreaming of a white Christmas. No, I've been dreaming of a far away Christmas. The quicker I can get away from this godforsaken country, the better. When Chuck told me he was from Arkansas, I think I asked him if that was near Alaska. He asked if I just love polar bears or lumberjacks. Whatever that meant. I rubbed his belly and said I have the big bear I love. But he didn't think that was so funny. American men are strange. Can't take a little joke. But then find the most fucked up shit funny. There I go, thinking like an American again. Fucked up shit. Thinking like him. Today I shall love his hair. I will sink into the settee and close my eye and think about his hair. And what to pack. They've had enough. Really. They've had just about enough from this comic opera of a government. Funny, this house is far from the road, right by the sea that's roaring all the time with those white feather bitches cawing outside my window. And yet traffic sounds still find a way to get down here, like that damn horn interrupting my thoughts. But they've had enough, really. He said they said. Time to cut this fucking place loose, his boss said. 
Enough of this government and this Michael Manley wanting to suck cash from the bauxite companies like they don't already do enough to help this country. Shit. Alcoa transformed this fucking backwater island. Sure, they didn't build a railway, but they certainly put it to profitable use. And other things, schools, modern buildings, running water, toilets. It was a slap in the face, really, demanding a levy on top of all we do for this country. And that slap in the face was the first shot heard around the world for Jamaica's entry into communism. Mark my words. Nationalization is always the first step. How these fucking people voted the PNP back into office is a fucking mystery to me, babykins. He said this little rant so often that I can almost recite it verbatim. Even the mixed metaphors. So what about that pitch lake you guys left that's only good for gunmen to dump bodies in so they will disintegrate without a trace? I say. Sometimes I have to remind him that three feet north of this vagina is a brain. Still, even an American man don't like when a woman's too smart. Especially a third world woman whom it is his duty to educate. This couch is softer than I remember. Two years since the election. Jamaica never gets worse or better. It just finds new ways to stay the same. You can't change the country, but maybe you can change yourself. I don't know who's thinking that. I'm done with thinking, quite frankly. Every time I think, it takes me to a bus exploding or me looking down the barrel of a gun. Shit, all that shaking is me. Not the couch. I mean, settee. God damn, the man is changing me. I like to act like I don't like it, but I don't think I fool him. He looks at it as some kind of victory every time he gets somewhere with me. Because truth be told, I don't let him get very far. That sounds harsh. I hope I'm not harsh. I can't even remember how we went from howdy to him taking me out. His term, not mine. Figuring things out is a dangerous thing. It makes you look backward, and that's also dangerous. You keep doing it, you find yourself right back at the thing. The one thing that pushed you forward in the first place. I don't know. And I swore I put myself on the damn couch to stop the fucking thinking. I wish she was home. Silly girl, you just wished he wasn't. Barely five minutes ago, girl. I was with you. I heard every word. Can people do that? Can people want to be with someone all the time? Okay, most of the time. And yet also wish they were alone? And not in little compartments, but at once? At the same time? All the time? I want to be alone, but I need to not be. I wished Chuck was one of the men I thought that would make sense to. Usually I just turn on the radio and let it fill the house. Noise, people, music, company that I don't have to acknowledge or respond to, but I know they are there. I wish I could do that with people. I wish people would do that with me. Where's the man who I can be with who doesn't need me to need him? I don't know what I'm talking about. Need is the only reason I'm right here, right now in this room. No, Jesus, what a bitch. Today, I shall love his hair. Tonight, I shall love all the sounds he makes when he sleeps. The hee-haw, the whistle when one of his nostrils blocks. And half of a sentence, the mumble, the flap, 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 snore. The groan. The American fart. That part of the night, three-ish, four-ish, when I can ask a question and he'll answer. Which is how I know he's not really sure how his family will react to meeting a woman like me. Though his mom is just the sweetest gal. Really, just the sweetest. I know all his sounds because I never sleep. Up all night. Sleep all day. There are names for women like me. Women like me don't sleep. We know that the night is no friend of us. Night does things, brings people, swallows you up. Night never makes you forget, but it enters dreams to make you remember.
Night is a game where I wait. I count off until I see the little pink streak cut through our window and I go outside to see the sun rise over the sea and congratulate myself for making it because I swear every night, every night. This ends disc nine.